there's something in the air at Middle Neck Farms in Wicomico County. And today, it's helping farmer Sam Parker keep an eye on his soybeans. We farm about 400 acres, and that, along with our chicken operation, it makes it difficult to get around to all of the acres and walk them. For me, in my limited time, I probably am only able to walk through the fields about every two to three weeks, which does leave a little window of opportunity for insects or something to develop. And even when Sam does find the time to survey his crops? Looks good. What he sees on the ground may not always be the whole picture. That's where drones come in. This one was brought to Sam's farm by father and son team Tom and Zach Marnane of MadTech, a fledgling Maryland company using agricultural drones, small computer-controlled aircraft outfitted with cameras, to give farmers comprehensive information about their crops. Today we're on Sam Parker's farm. He has us out here doing some health maps over his soybeans, and we're hoping to get a better picture of what's going on in the field. Here's how it works. Before arriving on site, Zach sets up a flight path over the field he wants to map. Once on location, he preps one of the company's drones. All right, so right now what I'm doing is just getting the drone out and assembling its actual physical parts. So, you know, obviously, got to put the wings on. So we have a multispectral camera. So basically it's taking five different kinds of pictures at the same time. But first, it's time for takeoff. The drones fly autonomously, so we put them up. It'll take around maybe 2,000 pictures for 300 acres. The software we run it through overlaps them and it produces a map of health of the entire field. Zach's vision for MadTech was born out of a high-flying hobby. I was in college and I was racing drones <laughs> just for fun. And I realized I really liked it. I liked taking them apart. I liked flying them. And so I decided I wanted to do something with it. Having grown up surrounded by cornfields in Southern Maryland, it didn't take much of a leap to land on agriculture. I knew it could help people. It could take the guesswork out of something as serious as where to put your nutrients to grow your food. And of course. It's nice being outside and be able to fly robots for a living. <laughs> After the drone finishes snapping photos, MadTech software overlaps the images into a high resolution map of the field, about 2,400 times more detailed than satellite imagery. Zoom in and you can actually see the individual plants. So what we're looking at is a map of the health of fields using their reflectance. So basically how well all of the plants are reflecting the light from the sun. Healthy crops absorb visible light and reflect near-infrared light, part of the process of photosynthesis, which you might remember from high school science class. The cameras on MadTech's drones measure all of that and help Zach determine which crops are healthy and which aren't. These green areas are areas where they're extremely healthy or they're the healthiest that you're going to find in this field. When you're looking at big patches of red like this, it tends to be some sort of, you know, drainage problem, pooling, pest infestation, something serious. As for yellow and orange, they may have troubles the human eye can't see yet. All of these plants that could be in this yellow area or in this orange area could be green as day to us. But in reality, they're suffering from the beginning stages of some kind of unhealthiness. And so these maps give us an early warning that allow us to preemptively scout and stop problems before they're problems. Scouting, taking soil and plant tissue samples, is a common practice for monitoring field health. The difference here is that MadTech pinpoints exactly where to sample using data from the drone basically means not soil sampling and tissue sampling an entire field, only the areas that are under some kind of stress or are struggling. At MadTech, we call it modern agronomy, the combination of the old and the new. Which would make Emma Mullineau MadTech's modern agronomist? We chose this area because it came up as a problem area in our report. So it was either red or yellow or had poor health. This here, it's all chewed up by bugs. 
should be something we might want to sample and see what kind of residues on it from different animals or bugs or whatever. After collecting the samples, Emma sends them out for analysis. From this little piece of plant tissue, the lab will find out everything they need to know about the plants in this area. The farmer can then use that information to make important, potentially money-saving decisions about their crops, like when and where to apply fertilizer or pesticide, or how to manage water. Something I'm pretty proud of is that I'm the eighth generation of Parkers to live and farm on the same piece of land. And in order to have any business survive that long, you have to be able to adapt to change. That means embracing new technology and the important role it plays in both feeding a growing population and keeping the farm in the family. I think that it'll help us manage our nutrients, our finances, and will help us to get to a place where we can continue a successful operation and pass that on to the ninth and 10th generation.